Hello, this is my mini review for the Kestra T12 soldering station. This soldering station has high-end features at a bargain price at under $50. Um, I picked this up from Banggood and there is a link in the description. What I have on my table is slightly different to the one I've linked to. Um, I made the error of picking just the soldering station box, uh, which didn't come with the handle or soldering tips, uh, so I bought those separately. Uh, so if you do want to buy this, make sure you use my link and that will take you directly to this product, uh, which includes a handle and a soldering tip. A quick word of warning, uh, there's no printed instructions included, uh, so watch my video on how to get started, and there's plenty of other YouTube videos out there that go into greater depth uh, than what we'll be covering uh, today, uh, so make sure you check those out too. Up until now, I've been using a very cheap £10 soldering iron, uh, which is okay for basic purposes, uh, but it is a bit cumbersome to hold. Um, it takes up to three minutes to get up to temperature and has a tip, uh, which doesn't always seem quite right uh, for some tasks, uh, which can make uh, soldering more of a chore. And uh, that's why I decided to upgrade to a proper full-featured soldering station. And after some research, the Kestra T12 soldering station came highly recommended, um, with comparable features to soldering stations two or three times the price. So this won't be a vastly in-depth um, expert review or teardown. Um, as I've only used uh, cheap soldering irons in the past, um, this video is from that point of view. So just someone stepping up to a more sophisticated product and getting to grips uh, with it for the first time. And I'll run through some basic features and how I got up and running as a new user. This soldering station uses T12 cartridge tips uh, that combine a sensor and the heating element, uh, which ensures the temperature at the tip is regulated and accurate. Uh, there are dozens of tips available uh, for different jobs, and I just have a few here to show you. Um, and as you can see, uh, these are all individual, and they are labelled accordingly to the tip type. And this is very important that they can be identified by the soldering station, uh, which has specific configuration settings for each of these tips. If we turn on the soldering station without any tip installed, it will show an error, as you would expect. Uh, but to get started, we want to go into the settings menu and add the tips we own to the active list. Press in the dial and hold until the menu shows up. Next, we navigate the settings menu by rotating the dial and press in the dial to select the option we want. Scroll down the list and find the corresponding tips that you have and select them here. Tick them to make them available. Uh, likewise, to remove them, uh, mark them with a cross. There's 90 different tips available and if I quickly scroll down, you can see how long this list is. Um, I expect someone could produce an entire video series on tip selection advice uh, for soldering. Once you're done here, press in and hold the dial to return to the main settings menu and uh, to exit the settings menu, uh, you'll find that option at the bottom of the menu list. We are going to use this tip which is labelled K. To select this, uh, press the dial and rotate clockwise. This takes us into the tip screen and uh, just spin through the list to find the K type. Uh, press the dial to confirm your selection and to close this menu. I'm going to turn off the soldering station briefly to insert the K-type soldering tip into the handle. Um, you noticed with no tip in the handle, the display shows an error. If for any reason you have a tip in the handle and that error is still shown, just check uh, that the tip cartridge is correctly retained in the handle. Uh, you will feel a click when it's properly seated. When we switch it back on, there's a short pause uh, while it initializes, then it rapidly heats up in under 10 seconds to reach its target temperature, uh, which is very impressive indeed. That beep indicates it's up to temperature. Uh, you can also manually set the temperature with a short press on the dial. The temperature range is 150 to 480 degrees Celsius.
To get familiar with this soldering station, I thought uh, some basic soldering would be sufficient to check its performance. And uh, just soldering a couple of wires together here to begin with, and of course no problem. Uh, the slim handle is like holding a pen and the silicon sheathed cable is very flexible, so easy to move around. Um, and it's also heat resistant, so it won't melt if you accidentally make contact with the heated end. I don't do any PCB soldering, um, so I'm afraid there won't be any fancy demonstrations today, uh, but I have watched uh, some other videos performing some delicate soldering operations with this kit, uh, so I know it's definitely up to the job. You will have noticed I skipped most of the options listed in the menu settings, um, as I intended to make a short review today, uh, but I'll pop some bullet points on screen uh, which highlight some of the other features of the Kestra T12. Uh, but I will say uh, the menus are very well laid out throughout and um, easy to understand. I did scan through the other options in the menu settings off camera and everything seemed very clear and logical to me. But if you just need to get stuck in and soldering without any fuss, um, I hope I demonstrated that here at least. Um, swapping the tip cartridges is straightforward and having a huge choice of small and large tips is fantastic. Um, they are easy to find online and very affordable to replace. This tiny soldering station packs a mighty punch. It's perfect for the hobbyist. I'm really pleased to add the Kestra T12 to my toolkit. I have some projects planned which will need a decent soldering iron um, in the future and got this in preparation in light of that. Um, so sure, an odd review to appear on a sim racing YouTube channel, but those DIY projects will be sim racing based. So this kit will be quite uh, relevant when the time comes. So there you have it, that's my uh, mini amateur review of the Kestia T12 soldering station. Um, I do appreciate this wasn't a very sophisticated review, but I do hope you found something in the video uh, useful still. Um, I will say, uh, check out other YouTube reviews for the Kestia T12 if you haven't done so already, as there is some really good coverage out there um, for this soldering station, which will be uh, more convincing than mine, I'm sure. Uh, but you will find uh, the general consensus is this, this is an excellent product and you will be hard pressed to find anything similar at less than double of what this costs. And thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like if you appreciate my effort today and uh, feel free to drop your comments below the video and tell me what you think. Uh, so take care out there and uh, bye bye for now.